Let's talk robots. This is from the company itself, 1X, okay? Introducing Neo Beta. That is a robot we are currently looking at, Neo Beta. I honestly don't care about AI robots in, in a humanoid form until I can start doing my laundry, right? We looked at we looked at AI yesterday that could like wash walls and play Rugrats themes, which I think is getting closer to end game. But this this person brings up a good point. If it doesn't do the dishes, what's the point? Well, guys, newsflash, we're there. There's no way, right? What's this string on his back? <laughs> I'm gonna ask the hard-hitting questions here. Uh, this is a new robot, guys, okay? This person says, the most important video so far that they've seen shows a task that annoys every human in their routine, loading and unloading the dishwasher. When I think of duties that I don't wanna do, I do think of doing the dishes. I do think of folding my laundry. This person goes on to say, if robots are actually already able to operate dishwashers individually, this would be a mass market that would also benefit benefit from robotic support. The household is essential, especially in Western overburdened societies. Uh, robots uh, are absolutely useful for this. This video is hopeful. Uh, let's watch the actual video. I can't, I can't scroll through my any, any social media right now without seeing this damn robot. <laughs> Until this robot can crack an egg like Kamala Harris, I don't want it. Have you guys seen her crack an egg? Kamala crack an egg like a pro. One-handed. Boom. Yes. Until the robot can do this, I'm gonna keep moving the goalpost. I'm gonna keep moving the goalpost. This is from the company itself, 1X, okay? Introducing Neo Beta. That is a robot we are currently looking at, Neo Beta. However, you notice there's no string here. <laughs> uh, it's designed for humans and built from the home. That's their tagline. I mean, he's kind of slow moving though. She could have done that easily herself. Is it sad that she's leaving the school? <laughs> Stop! Stop! No! Did <laughs> she say? Hold on. Wait. Are you forgetting something? <laughs> Are you forgetting something? Come back. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is going to replace men. I'll say it. It's going to replace a significant other. <laughs> I bet you can program the, them to be like extra strong, strong too, right? So they can carry like all the weight, reach everything on the on the top shelf. <laughs> This is funny though. So, so we're gonna we're gonna visit the actual website itself. But uh, people are saying it's a human in a suit. <laughs> Which honestly, if it's not a human in a suit, it honestly looks pretty good. But this is the website. This is the official announcement coming from One X uh, from uh, Neo Beta. Uh, it is it is uh, brought to us by OpenAI. It is it is partly funded by OpenAI, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and jump into this announcement. Neo Beta represents a significant advancement in robotics, moving beyond traditional stiff robots to humanoids. I don't, I feel like we're gonna be seeing the word humanoid a lot more in our lexicon, guys. Uh, humanoid robots with bio-inspired designs that can safely work among people. The Neo Beta launch marks a major milestone for 1X as the company transitions from a conceptual development to bringing humanoid robots into consumer households, Chat In the video released, it shows Neo is safe to work among people. Neo has been de de designated to be produced at scale in the company's factory via Norway. Joshua on the Red app says, I think the first mass-produced humanoid robots will be used for spicy time? Hey, yo! Bruh. Some spicy time. Our priority is safety, the company continues. Um, safety is the cornerstone that allows us to confidently in introduce Neo Beta into homes where it will gather essential feedback and demonstrate its capabilities in real world settings. Damn, at least it's pretty honest. Like, hey, let us into your home so we can gather more data. We're taking another step towards achieving the mission. And uh, the mission, they state, is to create an abundant supply of physical labor through safe, intelligent humanoids. This is kind of a scary sentiment. This is quite the mission statement. I'm gonna read it again. One X has a mission 
to create an abundant supply of physical labor through safe, intelligent humanoids that work alongside people. To achieve this goal, I like the I like this clause that work alongside people. The goal is not to replace the people, <laughs> but to work alongside them. To achieve this goal, humanoids must be exposed to diverse environments to become fully capable of performing a wide range of tasks. There are drugs in the f***ing robot. I can already see these things doing illegal activities. No, can you imagine? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. No, no, no. I wasn't. I wasn't a dealer. That was the robot. That wasn't me, man. <laughs> you can't arrest the robot. Um, this will be kind of fun to watch as it develops. Uh, they said 2025, so maybe maybe next year we'll, we'll see some pretty funny anecdotes come out about these <laughs> robots uh, being employed in, in bits of labor maybe they didn't anticipate. Kind of like how a generator gets used in ways that its original like OP developer never intended. Um, Courtney says, I don't know, it seems creepy and like the robot rebellion will come. Are you getting an iRobot kind of vibe? Is this the first step in iRobot? Skynet is close, says Joshua on the red app. Oh, whoa, they actually named the... The, the uh the vacuum i robot that's kind of funny we are getting a little bit closer to this sort of vibe <laughs> humanoids what was once fantasy uh seemingly is is quickly approaching reality right you just found a giant spider robot and i'm terrified shark you put in the discord <laughs> give me a link to that baby